So here we are just driving to our hotel which is literally so close to Disney World um, and really close to VidCon so that's great. It's a shape, it's an elephant. So here we are going to Hotel Lulu where we stay these days. Show any of the palm trees. Uh, we walked around uh, quite a lot which I don't mind. I like walking and looking at the scenery. Also walking distance from us was the Anaheim Garden Park and it is just a cute little place. Um, some weird little things I was like why are these here but it was really interesting and this is pretty awesome too. <laughs> Here at last, we are here at VidCon 23, Anna. Hey guys, so it was really loud outside, but basically what I'm saying right here is I can't believe I won all this, I didn't know I was gonna get a plaque, and I'm gonna make an unboxing video when I get back to my hotel. And I'm just showing y'all here what Wondershare Filmora shared on their story on Instagram. It was pretty awesome and here's another picture of VidCon. Also I went to the session that Kiki Palmer was speaking at and oh my gosh she is so amazing. Listen to the amazing stuff she has to say. So I love her. So many things that I never even imagined. I mean when I talk about my Emmy I got that from something that I created that I was just doing consistently on my page. So I think that's the thing that we have to remember um, is that we got to be consistent and we can't give up. My mom has always told me you only lose when you stop trying. Seriously, because even when you're not perfect with whatever it is you're doing, when you're consistent with it, you learn. It's trial and error, and the only way that you're going to see how to make something better, you know, chisel down that statue to the perfect masterpiece you're looking for, is if you do a little bit every single day and learn. Learn from, oh, okay, this is what I need to do. Okay, boom, boom, boom. That's what's going to get you there. So I'm wishing everybody the best of luck. I love that. Thank you so much for talking about that. We gotta spread that positivity now. Um, here's one of them. I did not know I was gonna get a plaque for winning. It's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's literally a plaque. It's heavy. I'm coming for the YouTube one next. Anyways, I also got like this cute little box. I didn't know I was gonna get that, so I really wanna unbox that for you. So here's my $1,000 gear fund, roses start to fade. This is obviously a fake check, but I get it. I also got a perpetual license. It's like where I get limited effects and stuff for Wondershare Filmora, which is amazing. But I don't know if something fell out because it's literally just a card that says Filmora perpetual license. So I'm going to ask them about that. They have a booth here at VidCon. They also have people who are speaking. Um, the little this is what the little box looks like. Did I show it? I think I did. But on the inside it says, Thank you. Thanks for joining us on this creative journey. Our special gift box is a token of appreciation and a reminder for you to create like a main character. Enjoy the surprises inside. Unleash your imagination and take your videos to new heights with we'll film more. Want to share for more and their booth was like so awesome it was like a little superhero thing and it was just so cool so i got this cute little tote it says creativity is contagious which i believe that's true it's really nice it's sturdy i got this cute shirt espresso your creativity i love my black coffee and I also got this other shirt, which is like the bag where it says creativity is contagious. So that was that. 
I also get a shout out from celebrity. Well, I guess like um, a content creator celebrity. I have no idea when that's gonna happen. I have no idea when, where, or what they're gonna post that. But yeah, also on the trip here to California to VidCon. Um, honestly, I know I'm here right now in California, but it does not feel real at all. So, <laughs> I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to me and following me on my journey, and that's it. So I want to give a little shout out to these amazing earrings and necklaces, homemade by my sister. Yes, she has an Etsy shop, so go ahead and check that out. Look how amazing these earrings look and that necklace with those red flakes. They're kind of like gold flakes except they're red, obviously. And they shine, it just looks so good. Red and black, it really made my outfit so much better. So go check her out, thanks. If y'all need to know one thing about me, I love nature. I love animals. And am I, am I out of shape? Yeah. You're probably going to hear me breathing hard. But I love hiking. I love nature. It's just... I'm not the city type. I'm telling you right now. I'll tell you more about how I feel about LA later. So watch it out. Going up this hill, I saw the light flash it before my eyes. I'm scared for my life right now. This is too high. So here we're about halfway to the Griffin Observatory, and um, it's very pretty. But I'm very out of breath. I really enjoy this look. So I thought this was pretty awesome. It's a time capsule. It says a sampling of Los Angeles lifestyle 1976 for the citizens of 2076. I was just like, dang, that's pretty cool. So here 
here we travel to the packing house in Anaheim. Saw some cute little treats. Uh, it's really pretty in here. It's like a bunch of little stores. Uh, I saw a lot of people recommend it. So I was, there's me. So I was like, let's go check it out. And these nachos, oh my gosh, those nachos were... I keep thinking about those nachos. And then we stopped here at the Hammer House to grab a couple of drinks. Uh, they were also pretty good. Although Manny fav favored mine over his, so I drank his instead. And then here we are going to the breakfast club to have our breakfast. It was really good as well. We shared a breakfast burrito. And there's my coffee. Going to the Funko store. Braver. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought the store was just gonna be a bunch of Funko Pops. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, just everywhere. I did not know it was gonna be ooh, giant figurines everywhere. It was just so amazing. I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to record everything now. <laughs> and they had like a bunch of like little places where you can sit and take pictures like right there. But I guess I just didn't pay attention to that. Uh, here we go with some superheroes, uh, Corella. Little Mermaid, uh, Ariel. Uh, it was just so awesome. See, like right there, I sat down on the, my throne and took a picture. Here we go, some anime, some random tracer. tracer. Star Wars. Dern, 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 dern. Some creepy stuff. I thought it was pretty cool to have some like haunted stuff here. I guess that's, uh, oh, there's Stranger Things. Just walking down Los Angeles. I thought this was pretty cool where they show shows. <laughs> where they show shows. Um, I would really like to go one day and this is what it looks like on the inside. Well, outside, inside. It's pretty cool. Here we are. We saw a vinyl store. I think it's called an Amoeba. Oh, this vintage store. Oh my gosh. I felt like I was going back in time. I had to show my parents uh, back home. It was just so awesome to look around. I felt, I don't know, it felt so weird, but in a good way. <laughs> here we are. I didn't know they had a farmer's market here. It was really long, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And here I am talking to a pigeon that's just resting about. So cute. I love it. Oh, there's our burritos from the breakfast club. Why is it there? Here we are driving down Beverly Hills. So I just want to take a second to thank uh, Wondershare for more once again for giving me this opportunity to come to LA, to California. Um, also, I want to thank my current subscribers and my future subscribers. Hey, get in now. <laughs> uh, I want to thank my my family as well, um, Manny, my friends for believing in me. Uh, I know I'm a very small channel still, around 320, um, but I believe if you believe in yourself, like, things are gonna pop off, guys, I'm telling you. It might take some time, but don't give up on yourself. I'm telling you right now. Would I come back to LA of my own free will? Probably not. Not bagging on LA, I just like... You know, I love nature, I love the scenery, so LA's not really like that. It's more, um, city. I mean, I know there's stuff to do that's not city, but, you know, it's mostly city. <laughs> Again, not bagging on it, it's just, um, I'm glad to have come here, because I want to experience a bunch of different things and places, and then I know what I like and what I don't like. So, I'll probably come to California again but just to experience other places to see what I like. 
Um, I really enjoy Colorado. I've been to a couple places there, and I uh, would like to explore more of Colorado as well. But I just really love it there. It's such so, so beautiful um, nature, you know, literally deer outside my door. <laughs> what more could you ask for? <laughs> um, I'm just kidding, guys. Well, not really. But um, obviously, it's my opinion. I'm not bagging on LA. Like I said, again, it's just not for me, I would say. Um, yeah. Like currently, my sister went to Vancouver and Seattle, and she sent sent these beautiful pictures from her hike. And that's what I want, like experience nature and the scenery. So can't wait to do that. Also, happy birthday to Erica, my sister. Uh, she, that was her little trip, her little birthday trip. Also, don't forget to check out my sister's work her awesome earrings and necklaces she also made this cute little cow keychain for me i love cows if you don't know by now they're my favorite animal and it's just so adorable go check her out bye guys <laughs> i don't know why i'm talking so slow peace